In this lesson, we're going to talk about the reasons why you will want to add a media server to your WebRTC flow over peer-to-peer. -peer. At first, the idea, of an e the idea of an intermediate server may sound out of place, considering that one of the key selling points of WebRTC is its peer-to-peer -peer nature. However, there are some scenarios on which a peer-to-peer -peer connection is not enough and an extra help is needed to be able to implement a feature. In such cases, a media server makes more sense. A typical example is multi-party calls. If you recall the slides from the first chapter, you'll know that enabling this feature over a peer-to-peer -peer connection can get a little messy. In such case, a media server, either MCU or SEFU, can help to simplify the task while making the application more robust. Other use cases on which a media server is useful include live broadcasting, transcoding, recording, and computer vision. In other words, any application that requires further processing over the media being sent will surely benefit from the use of a media server. So that's it for this lesson. In the next section, we'll briefly talk about some of the available options. When you're ready, move to the next lesson.